Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're looking at the expected value of bright lights. Yes, it is release weekend. I have opened a lot, I have sorted a lot, I have put a lot up for sale. I have fulfilled a bunch of orders, plus we did the live stream yesterday evening and... Well, I have invested some hours of work into this list, this video, which we will continue in the next days, weeks, months and then years. So, the thing is... One box of bright lights costs 72 plus 6, so 78, including shipping. The question is, when I open one of these boxes, how much are the cards worth, which are inside? I do take the card market low prices for all of these cards. I did not quite finish the... So it looks like this. What I do is I do this list. I'll do a new list. I, I'll write down the dates, the name, and the expected value um, which I do calculate by all the pull rates which I find in the internet and with my own pull rates and from some guys who you know write me their pull rates and then well at the end we'll have one price for all the rarities together so um, I you know when I have an, an Excel of course I do you know Majestics, for instance, it's like I write down all these names. I have a hyperlink so I can open those if I want to. I write down all these card market low prices and um, majestic rainbow foils, all those plus the cold foils, plus the uh, you know, rare cold foil, common cold foil, all of those. I did not include commons, non foil foil, or rares, non foil rainbow foil. I just took all these cards which are worth, I don't know, more than 30 cents. Yeah, okay, so uh, let's just let's just go. After I have this list, I'm going to put it into Google Drive, and then I'm going to put it into Looker Studio, and, and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to finish all these datas, all these sheets, because when I do this, it's uh, it sometimes is a struggle to, you know, um, make this list at all and make all these numbers work, and then put the picture on and then next time we look at it I'm going to have it finished better and then we also will have a line from today to the day what we're looking at I don't know somewhere next week maybe Tuesday Wednesday I don't know we will see 238 is the price for the cold foil failed 200 oh my god 89 rainbow foil is the price for the uh, the lowest price for a Neumann copy of Master Kogan Rainbow Foil. Legendary Extended Arts, we have these two, Wall Band of Bellana and Hyper X3. Those are Extended Art Cold Foils. They both cost 84. I don't, well, we will see. These are all 84. So the average also is 84. Next time it will look better because they will separate away from each other. So then we have the the legendary cold foils adaptive plating is at 74 shriek razors costs 65 that's an average of 69.50 man it took so so long to do this and it's just it, it doesn't contain that much information adaptive plating and rainbow foil costs 34 the warband of Bellona 28.50 and hyperx 3 and shriek razors are already at 25 each and then the last one that i have Oh, sorry, this is dusted on. This is totally wrong. Uh, let me see. Um, dusted on legendary. No, I didn't. That's all I have. It really took hours. I don't know why it looks like it's a matter of minutes, but yeah, let's just look into this list. I mean, there's two options. Option one, I finish all these graphs and I'll release the video tomorrow, which I didn't like. I'll just release everything that I have until now it is half past six then I'm gonna to have to upload the video and the live stream for the next opening will be at eight so I just had to do it now and also there is more there's more orders that I have to fulfill so um, yeah oh also we have 500 subscribers I'm gonna announce something for this soonish and I'm working on the discord server and you all will be invited 
So the marvel uh, singularity or Teclavossen cold foil two sided is costs 600. The expected value is 120 per box because I did calculate 0.002. So I have no po I have no no data at all. That's basically the 10,000 packs or 467 boxes. I don't know. I don't know. This will also change and adjust as soon as we have better pull rates. I can uh, adjust all these. This is a 0 0.14 pretty much uh, in line with what I have gathered. So, uh, to make things short, the average Marvel of the cheaper ones costs 65 and the EV per display is 922. Um, these two extended art two, is there? There's three, hold on. This one right here is missing. There's one machine, terminator tank. Why doesn't it say, this says, Annihilator engine. Well, sorry, just yeah. The average is 26, and the EV per display is 122. Now, majestic rainbow foils. Of course, again, this is yet another set where the majestics. It's a player's market. Players want the majestics because they are strong. Players want the cheaper legendaries, so the rainbow foils, because they're you know more affordable. Also, Slay and Rainbow Fall has not been uh, uploaded to Card Market yet, so I'm just keeping it here. Anyways, average Rainbow Fall Majestic costs 10 euros. The EV per display is 1281 because I do have 1.25 Majestic Rainbow Falls per box. This right here, the Majestic Non Falls, those are worth the most out of every box on average the average um, majestic costs 395 and keep in mind it's one day after release day so these prices will drop the ev per display for all these non foil majestics is 2312 that is quite high and i think this will drop rainbow foil oh rare cold foil we have then between four and five seventy, the average is five bucks. The V per display is uh, fifteen ninety five cents. The common cold foils range between fourteen ninety. Actually, these are my prices, the lowest right now. I don't know why, but for instance, I'm gonna shift, no control. I'm gonna open this. There it is. Oh yeah. Sorry, I lied. Somebody just undercut me by one cent after, you know, in the last one or two hours. But, you know, that's that's the way it, that's the way it works. Um, hold on, let me check this one then. 11.90. Oh, yeah, there's two under me. So, see, that is the race to the bottom. I really want to sell this card because I expect this card to be worth less in within the next days when there's more and more sellers entering the market trying to get rid of their cards which they open and then well come on let's let's check the third one 10 bucks 9.99 this is ridiculous i'm going on cent under again so i do this manually i don't have mpi access because i would have to be power seller and all that yada 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 you know the story so average um cold foil common is 556 or a little bit less you see that's that's the reason why i do this video it, it really changes that's also the reason why I didn't do it yesterday because prices were so high. Just three uh, forty-eight, and now here is the number that we're here for. And keep in mind, one box costs seventy-eight. The expected value is oh, added everything together, seventy-four eighty-six. So that's new. If I had done this video yesterday, we probably would have seen an expected value which is significantly higher than the box price. And as you can see, everybody undercuts each other and there's more sellers than buyers. That means card market low prices assumed, you're losing money. It's a, it's a good price, it's a stable price. I mean, it's so much more than the uh, sets before. You've seen in all my expected value videos, prices are going down. This uh, 74.86 is very stable and also you don't always have to count the uh, 
card market low prices, right? That's it for now. I just wanted to release this so that you all have it. And I'm looking forward for the live stream when we are going to open some cases of bright lights at eight in one and a half hours or after I release this video in maybe an hour. See ya. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you there. Bye.